Now, as can be seen, I had taken a new piece of Velcro, which I just purchased. It's the um, it's that new Scotch, uh, that 3M fastener, uh, three times stuff. It's the uh, uh, the heavy duty Velcro that I could find. Um, I have the description in the video for you. So what I've done is I've taken a, a strip, measured it uh, to this one. In this case, I think this is a 22. So I had taken a 22, cut it in half, pulled pulled the old one off, the old white strip that I had here that was kind of really thin. You know, drilled out the uh, the heads of the uh, the rivets, popped them out, pulled the strip off, put this new strip on, cut the holes you know, for the pre-existing holes that were already there, which are eighth inch holes. Then I actually included some more holes. You can see here that I've got some extra holes in between each of these because I think uh, that'll help stabilize, you know, for less uh, space for it to pop up and bend up. So I've actually taken these and uh, drilled them through. I had to put these in here and um, just kind of work them in. So yeah, I just take them and uh, just pop rivet them, make sure they're fully seated, and uh, just pop those rivets on there like so. Take that one here, push that, make sure it's seated correctly, you pop that rivet and get it going like so. So do that to all the rest of them. Make sure it's seated, then rivet. Seat. Rivet. And last but not least, seat. So, on this 22, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And they're all, they're all spaced accordingly, as you can see. So I'm going to turn this on autofocus. I had turned it off here for a second. Let's see if this actually works here. So, as you can see, all these rivets up and down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this little corner off here as well, just for the angle of the... Uh, the unit itself. But if you want to see a side view, here's a nice little side view here for you. That kind of shows you what all the rivets look like down below in the back of the unit. So, here's a good close up of the back and the front. Again, this is that heavy-duty uh, stuff here. It's a lot thicker, too. So you shouldn't have any problems with it uh, coming off at all. So, put that puppy back there. Here is my unit here that I use for that. Is that the flippy flip? Some people like to put it here, like so. So that when you when you uh, when you use this thing flipping over, it flips over to such a way that it actually still contacts the window and catches all the drips, which uh, I kind of have to get used to personally. But I think what happens is once this gets wet enough, it'll it'll you know kind of do that. But for now, what I like to do is just it's not wet yet, but. I like to put it over like this, because for me it works better this way. Plus the Velcro seems to grab a little better this way as well. And of course it's grabbing the, um, the microfiber side. So, it does flip over. This stuff. So I'm going to give this a try and see how well this works. But in any regard, you can use any Velcro as long as it's, it's, it's decent and thick enough. For some reason, it doesn't seem like it's grabbing on very well. 
but uh, we'll give it a try and see how well it works. And if it doesn't, I'll just put the other stuff back on white or black. It doesn't matter. But uh, I did the uh, the rivets a little bit more just to show that uh, that'll actually hold it on. So that's uh, an idea to try for what I what I have been doing. Um, they're not that hard to drill out either. You just get the, the next biggest size from the eighth inch drill bit and uh, just drill the heads out. When the drill uh, when the head starts popping off, you stop because you don't want to make the hole big. So, and then you just take a, a, um, a starter punch and you just sit there and punch them through and they come right out. And you get your old new ones, you can see what, what's going on there. Just redrill your holes, put your rivets in and pop them in and off you go. Should, ha no, should have no problem with these um, strips coming off again, the Velcro strips. So, hope that helps you. Uh, good luck with your, uh, your Velcro strip adhering, and uh, yeah, enjoy. Okay, testing out the new unit. Flipped it, I kind of set it one way, as you can see. So, we'll give it a try and see how well it works. When I tried to... Let's see here. See how well this works. No, well, that's it. Just for me, I got to get the angle right. A little bit of practice, maybe get the uh, the pad to wear a little bit, which is nice because when it flips over, you can actually get down into the corners like that, which is kind of nice get up into the edges and whatnot. Not too bad. Let's try that again. There you go. It actually does catch the water when you when you use use it like that. So there it is. I'm gonna rinse this off a little bit. Cause I put a little much soap on it. That's a little better. that angle right that's the thing flippy flippy I like that flip okay keeping the angle right here boom not bad Willie keep up the good work just an idea it seems to be working pretty good I'm not going to take it off and I'm just going to leave it like that and dunk it and, and squeegee like a pro. Do it like a boss.